Welcome to another exciting episode of Tent City Diaries. Episode number six, Welcome to the Jungle. Lest I forget, you know what today is. That's 420. 420! Come on, Stoner Holiday. This is like Black Friday for uh, stoners and weed growers. I, I am actually with a producer processor, Blue Roots, out of uh, Airway Heights. Now we're going to go take a visit to the jungle. You the heard, jungle. Have you heard about the jungle? I saw the brief little looks of the jungle, but I haven't oh. been out there yet. You wait, really a jungle? wait till you see it in high definition. All right. Peace. Have fun, guys. Thank 420. you. 420. 420. Well, come on. You know what time it is. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We're at the entrance of what they like to call the jungle here on a stretch of Martin Way, right near Fatso's Tavern and one of the shops I used to buy weed at over there, THC Lacey. Right in their backyard, as a matter of fact. Saw a bunch of shopping carts and decided, let's go take a look-see. I've been hearing about this jungle. I want to see what it looks like from the inside. So, wish me luck. FYI, shopping carts are private property of the stores that purchase them. When you take that to a homeless camp, you have now stolen it. They're valued at approximately $200 a piece. What's this sign say? No vacancy owner's rules. Anyone know who the owner is? I mean, if this is private property, then all of these squatters are illegally trespassing. Isn't that correct? Just for fun, I'm going to tally up the number of shopping carts that I see on this particular adventure. Attention passengers, you'll notice the fasten your seatbelt sign is on. I want to draw your attention to these bright orange uh, devices scattering the ground. These are actually rig caps and they are used um, sort of as the lids for syringes, which is the uh, preferred method for putting drugs into the system. And it seems like a sure sign that the junkies are actually marking their trail, kind of like breadcrumbs and like a tunnel so that they can find their way uh, over the river and through the refuse to uh, another drug den squatter site. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Homeless people, this is the problem that the rest of society has with homelessness. It's not that you're homeless. It's that you're leaving big piles of shit like this in Mother Nature. You have just destroyed this ecosystem. Who's gonna pick this up? Look at this. And it's everywhere. Well, you don't have to go far off the beaten path to find the encampment. I mean, if you look over my shoulder, that green building there, that is THC uh, Lacey and uh, Fatso's Tavern. 
so you simply go from there to here and don't think I didn't notice all the dudes sneaking around behind me, spying on me, seeing what I was up to. I always feel like somebody's watching me, but in this case, they really were. Take a picture. It lasts longer. <laughs> When apologists for these trespassers tell you the line that they're cleaning up the garbage, keep in mind they're really just burying it underground. Why is it that everywhere we seem to go here in Thurston County, whether it's downtown or Wheeler Avenue or out here at the jungle, there's crap all over the ground. It looks like I've walked into a landfill. Let's face it, Olympia looks like shit. Stay tuned next week for part two as I get discovered, nearly beat up, and threatened. People won't be pleased if you do some kind of a piece that doesn't please them. But I'd recommend not publishing anything about the jungle here. It just wouldn't be good.